Well, hello there. This is Bakari Shabana with Mac Automation Tips, and I am finally back to do another video. Um, in this particular video, I am going to talk about a, a, a application called Biscuit, and I'm going to talk about why I use it. On the eBiscuit.com page, they ask, "Is your browser buried in tabs?" Yes, definitely, my browsers are buried in tabs. Whether I'm using Safari or Firefox or Google, Google Chrome or what have you, a lot of times when I'm working on a project. I find that I have too many tabs and too many windows open and I have to go back and I'm revisiting some of the same pages and websites over and over again. And in a lot of ways, Biscuit kind of helps solve that problem somewhat and reduces the clutter on my desktop. So let me show you what Biscuit looks like. Uh, Biscuit is, def is basically uh, broken down into what's called workspaces or groups and also apps. And the apps are basically web pages or websites. And so when you look at a website, let me go down here and say add a website here. And you can see that there's a lot of different uh, pre-figured or pre-set up, you know, uh, websites already install what they call apps and these can usually these when they call reason why they call them apps is because you know some sites act like applications right and they're not just you know to view pages but they're to do work in so you have like one password you have um, Airbnb um, you have Asana um, you have blogger I'm not who I'm not sure who uses blogger anymore uh, you have ClickUp, which is one of my which is my favorite um, task management system which I really really love but say you wanted to you know add click up to your um, to your biscuit here um, and you all you have to do is click on here and then add this you know add the app and then log in right if you don't have if you're if your app or website is not listed you can do a custom app or custom uh, URL here and you can add both you know websites as well as individual web pages here and you just click it here and then you just kind of log in so that's how you add an app so let me go through and show you how to set it up and why I set it up the way that I do so basically um, you you know you go down you go down and add a group and you can do that with the um, in the menu bar as well so you can go here and add new group and I'm going to title this research and I'm going to capitalize this and I'm going to tell you the reason why the reason why I capitalize is because it makes it a lot easier to find uh, the the different groups um, in 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 the in the user interface here I wish I could be able to highlight uh, the different groups um, with a different color or what have you but that's the reason why I use all caps so we're going to do here go save here and then it goes to the bottom and I'm going to bring it up a little bit here to the top here and then so this is my group here and then I'm going to add a app so I'm going here add an app and I'm going to go down to one called a raindrop okay which is kind of a bookmarking app here and I'm going to add this one here and it'll open up and then ask me to log in okay logging in here all right and so basically it opens up and this is basically the home page for uh, this particular apps you know and so if I if you were to go to and go to another page for example um, let's open this up in let's say another tab all right so so we're at another tab here we open this tab up now it's really important to understand how the tabs work so you can just open this tab up and you know get rid of it if you want to but say this is a page or a site that you kind of visit on a regular basis right so maybe what you want to do is you want to right click on the tab and then pin the tab and I want to show why did why would you want to pin the tab well you pin the tab because you can revisit that particular page that you originally opened up into so if, say for example I go to the partnership page here and you know I'm looking at it and I'm using it but I want to get back to the original page in which I pinned so then you just click here the home uh, button here takes you back to the original page so no matter where I go um, in this particular site I can always get back to that original page that I pinned and so that's the reason why I pin it because I know that I might be coming back to that particular page and again so you can 
um, when you pin it, you can also uh, rename, you can change the name of it here as well. So I can capitalize that if I want or, you know, change it to something that's going to be familiar to me. This particular page is the original page that you, you know, um, you set up. So you really can't pin this or, you know, or you can't even change the title of it. But it's, you know, it's, it's just the one, just the original page that you go into, but you can open up other pages or, or even other websites, um, you know, in this particular section or in this, you know, this particular section of it. You can also add uh, more sections inside the group as well, which I'm going to show you that in a minute um, as well. So that's basically how you do that. Let me go up to my Mac Automation Tips uh, uh, pay, uh, uh, you know, website here. And I have this broken down into, you know, where I start working on posts, um, pages. Um, there's my marketing uh, pages that I have here. And then there's the home page and the home page layout. And then there's the plugins here. And you notice I have a plugin for up for updated uh, plugins to update. And then here's all the plugins uh, for this particular site. So I'm very intentional about what um, I put in to uh, the different groups and which um, pages I pin because those are the pages I'm going to return back to. And when you have a, a, a you know a tab open, you can open the tab. Um, you can close the tab. You can open it up into another tab. Um, you can open it up into the default your default browser, say it's Safari or Google Chrome. You can open it up into a new window so that if you want to, you know, put that window to somewhere else uh, on a second um, monitor or what have you, can do that. And um, you can also do what's called split to the right or split to the bottom, in which that divides that up there. And it will open up and you can kind of work within those two things. It's kind of going slow right now to open those up. Um, but anyway, that's what you can do. And you can just kind of close that. I'm not going to wait for that. So basically, that's what you do in Biscuit. I mean, it's, it's a, the basically what you want to do is figure out like how you want to use, uh, be very intentional about what sites that you put in here. These are mainly sites that you work in and they're going to help you reduce a lot of clutter. Now to navigate, um, Biscuit, I, I use, uh, you know, if you know me, I use a lot of finger gestures here uh, because Biscuit has a lot of shortcuts, but I don't have time to remember all those shortcuts. I don't remember. I don't want to remember those shortcuts. Basically, I use finger gestures and it makes it be able to navigate it a lot quicker. And basically, when I'm working in Biscuit, I'm always my hand is typically on the um, on my trackpad anyway when I'm navigating uh, Biscuit or navigating sites inside the uh, the application. So for example, if I want to do a, a three finger swipe to the left, that gets rid of the side um, um, the side bar here and I can just toggle it back again. Uh, they can do that or if I do a three finger swipe up, um, that gets rid of the URL uh, bar here as well. I can do that. Um, if I want to go in between or go to the next browser or the next tab, I can do a three finger click to the right and that goes to the next uh, tab and I'm going to go back to the previous one go this way as well um, and so is a is there several different um, you know finger gestures that I do and assign um, to this um, to, you know to, to different shortcuts if you know if I want to toggle the sidebar go to the previous page I do a three finger click if I want to go to a previous page if I want to um, reload a, a, a page I do a spread with thumb and two fingers I can reload a page um, lots of different ones this this is what I do for a lot of the um, applications that I use on a regular basis uh, because again I'm I, you know it's a lot quicker to use finger gestures than it is to use um, you know typed uh, shortcuts, especially when your hand is already on um, your trackpad. So that's basically um, how Biscuit works is, you know, and the guess what thing about Biscuit is that it is totally free. So uh, you don't have to pay a dime for it. Uh, to me, I think it's worth, I don't know, five to ten dollars, something like that, because uh, I think it's a really good productivity application. There is a similar uh, application to Biscuit that for some reason, it's a subscription-based um, 
uh, you know, uh, application. And I, it does, it does pretty much the same thing as Biscuit. So I don't, you know, I wouldn't, I can't think of the name of it right now, but that's, but I would use Biscuit over paying a subscription fee here. So if you have any questions about Biscuit, you know, leave some comments or questions in the comment section. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you're just, if you're new to my site, definitely subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.